Hello Vinyl Community, this is Tommy in North Carolina and inspired by another YouTube channel that I really quite enjoy, uh, Jay Party, uh, who puts up some really great videos. If you haven't checked his videos out, I highly recommend them. But he just did a video where he kind of ran through all of his colored vinyl and so I decided to do the same thing just to kind of show some of the stuff that I've got. So I'm going to give you pretty quickly, kind of running through them, just one after the other. I'm not going to discuss a whole lot about them. I'm just going to kind of show them to you and show you the show you the color. So the first one is a Record Store Day release. I'm going to start with 45s, by the way. This is uh, Christmas in Dixie, the uh, Blind Boys of Alabama, and also Jason Isbell and John Paul White doing Old Flame. This was a Record Store Day Black Friday release, but it's on this beautiful clear vinyl. The next one is another, I believe, Record Store Day release. It's Paul McCartney, and it is uh, from his Christmas. Uh, it's a, well, it's a it's a twofer. It's it's from the Kisses on the Bottom release that he did, and it's got Ki Christmas Kisses and Wonderful Christmas Time, a song that I happen to love, but can be kind of derided by a lot of fans. The next one is some of these, and some of these you've seen in some of my other videos, but just running through them really quickly, is Frank Zappa, I'm the Slime, on, of course, slime-colored vinyl. The next one is another Frank Zappa. It is How Could I Be Such a Fool, Help I'm a Rock, Third Movement, It Can't Happen Here. This is on a lovely pink vinyl. And also, this one I don't even have to pull out, it is a Frank Zappa, but it is on purple vinyl. This is uh, What's the Name of Your Group and um, the Overture from 200 Motels. One more Zappa release here. Uh, this one is also a Record Store Day. It's My Guitar and Dog Breath in mono. This is on a very, this is a great color. This is a dark green, kind of forest green vinyl. And just a couple of more 45s and we'll get to the LPs. Next one is another, I believe, Record Store Day release. This is Cake. And this is uh, Sheep Go to Heaven. And this is on a nice yellow, kind of a kind of a dull yellow. And the final one, and here's the thing. I'm not going to go into a lot of my Third Man stuff because I've got the Vault uh, releases that are all colored vinyl. I'm not going to do those on this video. I may do a separate video where I talk about the Vault. And I've got some quite a few Third Man uh, colored vinyl, and you'll see some when I get into the uh, 12 inches. This is the last 45. This is a Jack White single, Would You Fight For My Love, and I just wanted to show this one because it's just so cool looking. This is a tri-colored vinyl. It's in three colors, black, yellow, and white. So and these are kind of, li they're limited runs on Third Man. I was lucky to get my hands on one. So now we're going to talk about the actual LPs, colored LPs, and like I said, I'm going to run through them pretty quickly just to show them off. But here is the Beach Boys uh, 40th Anniversary Pet Sounds edition that came out about, well, it came out in 96. But it is a mono and stereo, and it is on yellow and green vinyl. The mono is yellow and the stereo is green. And I know my friend Sean in New Orleans, hi Sean, he has that, but I don't think he's ever opened it. Here is the Beatles Blue Album. If you saw one of my previous videos, I talked about that. But I do have the Blue Edition. So I would like to find a red one to complete, complete the collection. Next one is one I actually spun last night. This is a Record Store Day release. This is the soundtrack to the Big Star film, Nothing Can Hurt Me. It's a two-record set. And it's widely available, but there were a few limited copies on Record Store Day printed on this clear orange vinyl. Which is pretty cool. It's a two LP set. Both of them are the same color. I don't know how many of those they released. Here's a recent one I picked up. It's a Barnes & Noble exclusive. It is the Bob Dylan Fallen Angels. And it is on this clear blue vinyl. So the next few are going to be some Lee Hazelwoods. Uh, I try to order the Lee Hazelwoods as they announce them from Light in the Attic. Because I love Lee. And usually if you're in the first few you can get... These on special colored edition. This is um, Trouble is a Lonesome Town. And it was printed on this nice marbled orange. I don't know if you could see the marble in it. But uh, it kind of matches the, the color scheme of the album. 
The next one is part of the Lee Hazelwood. This is a band that he had on his label, uh, Honey Limited. Actually, this isn't the colored edition. I don't know why I pulled it out, so I'm not even going to show it to you. I didn't. I missed the colored one on that one. So forgive me on that one. Uh, this is another Lee Hazelwood Light in the Attic issue, early issue, Arthur. Uh, and this is on Valentine Gray. Look at the marble in that. It's really nice. Another Lee Hazelwood group, The Kitchen Sink. This is one of the earlier pressings. It is on this nice kind of purple vinyl. Now you're seeing a little bit of a reflection there. This is in mono as well. A great Lee Hazelwood soundtrack and album, uh, Cowboy in Sweden. There's actually a little film in that. But uh, this one came out, I think, earlier this year or late last year. It's on a nice blue. The album 13, which is uh, Lee Hazelwood doing some soul music. It is on this lovely dark yellow. And the last of the Lee Hazelwood issues uh, from Light in the Attic, uh, there's some new ones coming out that, that, that I should be getting. This is uh, Lynn Castle, uh, Rose, um, Rose Colored Corner. And it is printed on, of course, Rose Colored Vinyl. A nice color, nice shade. So that one is really good. The Turtles Golden Hits. This is a record store day release in mono. It is gold vinyl. And earlier, this record store day, this past record store day, the Turtles More Golden Hits. And this is also a gold vinyl. This one is not in mono. Next one's quite interesting. This is an Elvis Costello, Blood and Chocolate. Uh, this is a German pressing of this album. And I found this, I think, at a store in Texas. And it is uh, it was uh, on this white vinyl, but it was still sealed. I had no idea it was a white vinyl. But that's a great album, uh, you know, to have. It's one of Elvis's best. This is a band called The Eastern Dark, Girls on the Beach with Cars. Uh, I think this is kind of a local group waterfront label, but on a nice blue vinyl. It's a two-record set. As Jeff pointed out in his video, blue is a popular color. Uh, this is a band that I got turned on to uh, out of Arkansas, the Frontier Circus, a little bit psycho, a little bit western. And um, one of the stores I go to in Arkansas turned me on to those guys. And some of these, we'll have a few of these. The Parlophone uh, Record Store Day reissues. This is Genesis the Gods. And these are really cool, cool pressings because they're on a splatter vinyl. And that looks really nice. Looks really good. Next one is the Idol Race Birthday Party. Also on that Parlophone Record Store Day. I showed this in my ELO video. But it matches the color scheme, that gold color of that. And also, this uh, recent record store day, The Idol Race, which is the, the second album. This is on a beautiful splatter vinyl, which is really cool. Really neat, neat looking. Another one is a record store day release, The International Submarine Band. This is Safe at Home, the mono edition. And it was on a white label, or white pressing, not white label. That was from Sundays. Here's another one of the Parlophones. Uh, this is July, which is a psychedelic sort of pop band. That beautiful splatter. Really, really cool. Next is one I found kind of recently. It was a record store day issue from Light in the Attic, and I got it primarily on the uh, basis that Brian Wilson was involved. Uh, Stephen John Kalinick, uh, A World of Peace Must Come. It's a poetry album, and like I said, I was into it for, for Brian Wilson's involvement. Um, I can't say I was terribly impressed with the, with the LP itself, but I got it really cheap, so it wasn't a big deal. The next one's actually one of my very favorite albums, the uh, Dave Mason Alone Together. I love this album, and I think it was originally pressed on this weird marble-colored uh, label or label uh, on Blue Thumb Records, and uh, it kind of matches the you know the the marble of the of the LP. I love that album. Here's another Record Store Day issue that I showed recently. Uh, Nielsen Schmilson. And this is a neat one. It's on that split yellow and white vinyl. A lot of these are going to be Record Store Day issues. Uh, here is They Might Be Giants, Flood. 
which is uh, their first album for Electra Records. And just a great album, one of my favorites, and one of my daughter's favorites. It's on a green, on a clear green. I'm going to make a separate stack here. Another Record Store Day release. This one says 3,000. This is the Velvet Underground uh, loaded on this nice, nice sort of burst color. Next one I don't have to pull out. It's a Tom Waits recording. Uh, this is a Tom Waits live show from 1976 at the Ivanhoe Theater, but it's on this interesting uh, clear sort of vinyl. Uh, but it just came like that. It's a, I think it's a quasi bootleg. Here's the Watson Twins Fire Song. In addition to it being uh, colored vinyl, I also have this one autographed when I saw them in Memphis a few years ago with Ben Queller. It's on a nice white vinyl. Beach Boys in colored vinyl. This is Brian Wilson's Getting In Over My Head. I think I briefly talked about this album uh, when I was talking about late period classics, but it was on this clear orange sort of pressing. Uh, here is the Brian Wilson 88 solo album that came out on Record Store Day. I have an original copy, but I also bought this reissue because I got a really good price on it. This expanded edition, but it is on this nice colored wave vinyl. And since we're staying with the Wilson family, uh, this was also this past Record Store Day, Dennis Wilson's Bamboo. Came out on this nice green marbled vinyl. A lot of Record Store Day stuff. Britton Wood, Oogum Boogum. I know a lot of you love that song. Uh, also, give me a little sign. This on a white vinyl. Yardbirds, Little Games. This is Stereo. It was a Record Store Day release from a few years back. This is on that cool Parlophon splattered vinyl. We're getting kind of the end here, so I'm trying to keep it short. It looks like I'm doing a pretty good job. We're at about 12 minutes. This is one of my third band that I'm going to show. This is uh, the Carl Sagan uh, Glorious Dawn. And what was cool, this is the record, and you can look it up um, on the internet. There's videos. Uh, Jack White uh, sent this record into space. Uh, on his little uh, weather balloon, uh, Icarus, and I got the sticker and the postcard, but um, being a vault member, I was able to get a hold of the um, the LP. This is really cool, though, because it's not just colored, but it's got etchings on it. So it's kind of a commemorative edition of the Carl Sagan thing. We're going to stay with, with Third Man for a little bit. This is a copy of Elephant. I think Jeff Party actually had this in his collection. But this is Elephant on white and red vinyl. That's a clear red. This is another White Stripes uh, Record Store Day release, the Get Behind Me Satan, which I believe is available in standard black, but you can watch it, and you, it's got the, the cover with the changing... I don't know if you can see it change. There it goes. There we go. Boom. And this was pressed on a beautiful red, dark, deep red vinyl, as well as white. Another white stripes. This is the uh, Peel Sessions. It's a clear red, and also white. And finally, last and certainly not least, uh, one more colored vinyl. This is the Jack White acoustic set that came out. And this is the one that uh, was available exclusively at the Third Man storefronts. And I was able to get my hands on it as a vault member, but that's the blue marble edition. So kind of a, kind of a rarity and um, cool for Jack White fans. Anyway... I'm glad I kept that short and kind of ran through them. If you have any questions about any of them, you can comment below. Uh, I probably missed a few. And I might do another video on some of my Third Man vaults. Some of those, some of that vinyl is really, really beautiful uh, the way it's pressed. But I uh, hope you enjoyed watching my colored vinyl collection. I want to thank Jay Party for uh, posting that. Maybe, maybe you, some of you guys can share some of your uh, colored vinyl collection. And... Um, Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's TommyBurton75. And thanks for watching. See you next time.